G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. This video is about the survey results, part one of my recent survey held on gravelcyclist.com. How do you roll on gravel? 823 people took the survey, so we've got some pretty good numbers. So without further ado, what type of cyclist best describes you? 652 said they're a gravel cyclist, 478 said they're a road cyclist, 379 said they're into mountain biking, 95 said they're involved with cyclocross, there were 166 commuters and 122 people who said they do it all. What is your age? Uh, we actually had one respondent who was less than 18 years of age, 19 to 29, there were 28, uh, 30 to 39, 136, now there's no surprises in this next group, the 40 to 49 year old category, 292. And for 50 to 59, 258 uh, respondents. And for 60 to 69, uh, very good number, 95 um, riders. And for 70 plus, I was blown away by this, there are actually nine riders. That's pretty cool. To which gender do you most identify? Now I could have split this up into age groups, but I had a strong suspicion that it was mostly males who took this uh, survey, so hence my decision to keep uh, just the genders grouped together. Uh, so there were uh, ladies first, 46 uh, ladies who took the survey. There was uh, one transgender lady who took the survey. There were 768 uh, men or blokes if you prefer and seven folks preferred not to answer. Do you ride gravel roads for fun and pleasure? Or do you race or do you do both? And the respondents were 435 ride for fun, eight love to race, and 379 do it all. How many gravel miles do you ride or race every year? So the first one is zero to 999 miles. There were 257 respondents, 1,000 to 2,499 miles. There were 312 respondents. For 2,500 to 4,999 miles a year, 187 respondents. And for 5,000 to 7,499 miles a year, there were 41 respondents. Now we're getting to big numbers now. 7,500 to 9,999 riders, I should say miles. There were 17 respondents. And this uh, next one, greater than 10,000 mi 10, miles a year, I should say. Are you a pro? There were eight respondents. So, uh, and that's a claimed all gravel miles. If that's uh, true, that's pretty impressive numbers. The next question, do you bike pack from time to time? and 246 answered yes, and 576 answered no. Do you ride gravel roads at night time? I was very surprised by the answers of this uh, question. It's almost split evenly, uh, 404 said yes, and 418 said no. So um, it's pretty cool to see that many people getting out of riding at night time. And I guess the nose, you're either riding inside or riding in the daytime. And if you're inside, maybe you're riding on Zwift or um, Sufferfest or some other application. With the explosion of gravel events and races, is this genre at risk of losing its grassroots feel? So the answers were 270 said yes, 428 said no, and 123 said it was not applicable to them. Does gravel racing slash events need a sanctioning body where rules may be imposed? For example, USA Cycling, etc. Now there was a couple of glitches um, with the software for the survey for this question, but um, uh, honestly, an overwhelming no uh, is the response here. But just with the numbers that were reported, 62 said uh, yes, 331 said no, I don't need no stinking rules and regulations. 
and uh, 148 were non applicable. Do you like the presence of former or current professional riders at gravel races? And uh, 494 said yes, 107 said no, and 220 said wasn't applicable to them. Do professional teams and related roadie-like tactics belong at gravel races? You may have seen this in the news. Um, a few uh, race teams such as uh, EF Education and uh, some other um, uh, teams have expressed interest in coming to events such as Dirty Kansas and so forth. And unfortunately there was another glitch with this question, but um, uh, basically the answers I've got here were 82 said yes, 287 said no, and uh, 234 said who cares, I'm out to enjoy my own ride. But um, it's a pretty strong no um, from the respondents of that question. The next question, if professional riders were present at a race, should they be started separately? The respondents there, 290 said a yes, 403 said no, and 129 said it was not applicable to them. How far are you willing to drive or fly to a gravel event? Now, unfortunately, there's another glitch with this um, survey question. I apologize about that, but from the respondents that I have, for uh, zero to 99 miles, there were 129 respondents. 280 people said they would drive or fly 100 to 249 miles. For 250 to 499 miles, 213, that's 213 responded. For 500 to 999 miles, 84 said they would do it. For 1,000 to 2,000 miles, 51 respondents and 65 respondents said they were willing to travel greater than 2,000 miles. That's quite impressive. So you might be traveling across country if you're in the United States or flying somewhere outside of the country or uh, wherever you may be. Race prizes. Assuming you race, do you prefer? And again, this is another glitch question, so I apologize in advance. Of the respondents I have, um, 79 want to see the money, they like cash. 148 said they like merchandise. 131 like a special jersey. 74 said they would prefer a trophy. Um, 57 said there shouldn't be any prizes of any kind. And 276 said it was not applicable to them. So that finalizes part one of the survey results. Coming in part two is more of the technical aspects related to bike choices, wheel choices, etc. So be sure to keep an eye out on gravelcyclist.com. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell button to be notified of future videos as they are released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.